Greetings brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It is always good to be here with you. It is always good to have you here with me. Now let's jump into the video. Jamal Bryant. He is the Apostle Pastor Gina Jennings' cousin. He has uh, um, announced in his church that he's going to get married again. No, Jamal Bryant is a controversial pastor. He believes in weed weed bringing weed in the church um he believes in he even apologizes for all black pastors um he apologizes for all black pastors to the lgbt group you know for preaching out against their wrongdoing he apologizes for all black pastors who who is jamal bryan to apologize for all black pastors you know, he, he has been doing so much things, even the, the things that he's saying about Jesus, that he did, what was it, 99% of the things that he did was, was incorrect. You know, he, he has been saying and doing so many things, and now he, he has announced that he is going to get married again no this is wrong this is wrong and we all know by now that jamal bryan is a, a false preacher he is not of god he is not under any apostle he have this church here full of people that he is leading straight to hell now this woman that he claims <coughs> is going to be the first lady of the church and as the apostle always said that the first lady is heave and she is dead and gone there is no such thing as first lady they do these things because they want to put themselves and their wives and their families of course on a pedestal you know yes honor should give where honor is due and respect should give where respect is due but there are god is no is no respect of persons and especially in the church no one is more than no one you know so this what he's doing here is wrong not to mention what she do not to mention that she is also a pastor something that god um tells us not to do you know something that god tells us not to do now let's listen to what he had to say when he announced this listen to this the only thing we was missing was the first lady and uh only thing we was missing was the first lady so i uh are y'all gonna let me talk Yeah, I've been uh, I've, I've been divorced for 11 years. I've been divorced for 11 years, and uh, I didn't know whether I would ever get married again. I promise you, I didn't. And uh, sometimes your blessing will be right in front of your eyes. He said that he has been divorced for 11 years, and it doesn't matter. He could even be divorced for 50 years. As long as his wife is still alive, he is still bound to her in the eyes of God. And listen to him now. Listen to him lying on God, saying that God um, ordained this. Listen to him. And you, you don't even know. You don't even know what God's got for you. Uh, amazing amazing uh amazingly beautiful woman amazingly brilliant woman uh last year she uh graduated with her uh, doctor degree and uh I, I i saw her walk across this stage and get her doctor degree and the lord said you big dummy what are you waiting on uh and uh I am so grateful, I am so grateful to God uh, that she has consented to be my wife. Would you help me? Thank God. This man is standing up here lying on God. He is just lying on God. And this is what many of them do when they do their sinful acts. 
They said that God tell them to do this or God tell them to do that. This man is lying. He could have been divorced for a hundred years. As long as his wife is alive, then they are born in the eyes of God. And that is all that matters. Let me just put that in there. God ways, God laws, God doctrine, that is all that matters. Now he went on further to speak about how brilliant she is and you know, um talking about that she's well, she reminded him of the sun and the rain and the moon and the stars, you know, all of those things. It's like puppy love. You know, so he, he went on to see all of that all of these things. She started to tear up he, um, you know, with everything that he's saying. It, it is just a mess. It is a mess. You know, it is a mess. Now let's listen to the apostle as to what he has to say about marriage, remarriage, and divorce. Listen to this. Let's go to the book of Mark, if I'm correct. Right. Mark chapter 10. All right. And we'll start reading at verse 2. I need you to move quick. And the Pharisees came to him and asked him, Is it lawful for a man to put away his wife? Tempting him. Ha! <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Tempting him. I don't say, well, you preach Jesus Christ as God. God said he cannot be tempted with evil. God wasn't being tempted. Right. It was tempting the Son of God. That's right. Can't tempt the Spirit. Right. It was tempting the flesh. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. And he answered and said unto them, What did Moses command you? All right. And they said, Moses suffered you to a bill of divorcement. Moses let you do it. And to put her away. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart. All right. Now, <coughs> they said, Who let you do it? Moses suffered. They credit Moses. Right. Moses suffered. It means Moses allowed it. Right, that's right. He didn't say God allowed it. Moses, Moses suffered. Moses. Moses allowed it. That's right. Moses. Not God. For God law of marriage was established way in the Garden of Eden. But from the beginning. Let, what did it say? Read all of it. Now Mark chapter 10, we're at verse 5 and 6. All right. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Mo First they said Moses. And they said, Moses suffered you. You know, that's the way you view us up. When you write me, you always make reference to Moses. You that's love that's Moses. Right. Love him. Right. Mo don't, don't even keep the law, but they love Moses. That's right. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. Whenever they want that extra piece of flesh, they run to Moses. That's right. They Amen. put Jesus on the back burner. Where's Moses? <laughs> Anybody seen Moses? Right. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, son. And they said, Moses suffered to write a bill of divorce. Moses allowed you to write the bill of divorce. And to put her away. And get rid of her. And Jesus answered and now said, Now the pastor's talking. For the hardness of your heart. Now, they referred to Moses. And Jesus gave the reason why Moses did it. For the hardness of your heart. You see that? Right. That no time did Jesus sanction it. No. And no time did Jesus endorse it. That's right. Jesus let you know you wanted flesh. That's right. Moses let you have flesh. That's right. Because your heart was all messed up. For the hardness of your heart. Right then that lets you know who divorce is for. That's it's for people that got a hard heart. That's uh, right. Their boss is for them that have a hard heart. A hard the heart. Old Testament call it a stony heart. That's right. Hey! That's right. Let me take God. For the hardness of your heart. For the hardness of your heart. He wrote you this precept. He wrote you this precept. But from the beginning of Wait the creation. Look, look at it. Look at it. Here comes Jesus going way past That's Moses. Right. That's right. Before Moses was born. That's right. Jesus said. But from the beginning of the creation. Wait a minute. From the beginning? From the beginning of the creation. Of creation. God made the male and female. God made the male and female. For this cause. For this reason. Shall a man leave his father and mother. And do what? And cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. Wives. Wife. Wife. W-I-F-E. Look, one of the qualifications of a bishop, the husband of one wife. Right. If he's married, he only can have one. That's right. You fellas out there, you know you ain't no bishop. <laughs> you done right. divorced and got two, three, four, and five. Amen. And the one that you now have is not yours. That's, That's right. right. Eh? 
Amen. All right. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife. Yes. And they twain shall be one flesh. They twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain but one flesh. All right. What therefore God hath joined together. What happened? Let not man put a son. As the Bible said, let not man put a son. And then every man that says you can divorce, he's pushing a message to put them asunder. That's right. Right then he violated the word of God. That's right. Man. And in the house his disciples asked him again of the same man. And, and he says unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife what? and marry another, and marry another, committeth adultery that's plain against her. You see, they don't see the 10th chapter. Right. They don't see the 10th chapter, 10th uh, chapter of, Mark. of the book of Mark. And right this, away they run to the 19th chapter right. because yeah. they failed to realize the 19th chapter, Jesus was dealing with two kind of women. That's right. Fornicated and the adultery. That's right. Yeah? Right. They were dealing with two kinds. Two kinds. Because a man ain't a married person in the world commit fornication. That's right. When you're married, you commit adultery. Adultery. Right. That's why the Lord said, and in the 19th, you better give me the 19th, 19th chapter. chapter of the book of and let, let's show them this. Jesus was dealing with two classes of women. Right. That's right. In the book of Mark, he dealt with one That's class of women. Right. That's right. Oh! Matthew chapter 19, verse right, 9. Right, what is it? And I say unto you, I say to you, whosoever shall put away his wife, what? except it be for fornication. Hold it. That's a different type of woman. Right, right. right. Ain't no married woman commit fornication. No. no. A married woman, if she's married and go outside of a marriage, she commit adultery. That's right. She commit fornication before she got a husband. That's right. That means she was single. Right. right. And I say unto you, I say to you, whosoever shall put away his wife, what? except it be for fornication, and shall marry another. Now wait a minute. And shall marry another. But minutes adultery. In order for someone to commit adultery who marries another, the one that marries another already have one. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's, That's right. right. They already have one. And who shall marry is her? All right, let's go back to the book of uh, the book of Mark quickly. Right. Back in Mark chapter 10, right, verse 11. All right. And he says unto them, Whosoever shall put away his wife and marry another committeth adultery against her. <coughs> now, the Bible do not, do not allow divorce, but Amen. the Bible do allow separation. That's right. Seven chapter first Corinthians. First Corinthians. Chapter I know that it'd be hard for any man. Yeah. But his wife go outside and have one child and two child and three child and four child and why wow, wow, good night. Right. And that man will struggle with that. That's right. And I, and of course he will want to put her away and divorce her and uh, he may want to do more than that. Right. That's right. Amen. That's right. But uh, I have to deal with this according to the word of Almighty God. That's right. Listen. First Corinthians chapter 7, read verse 10. Yes. And unto the married I command. Unto the married I command, yet not I but the Lord. Let not the wife depart from her husband. Now, this is what God recommends. Yeah. He prefer that the wife don't leave the husband. But right. even though he prefer that, yeah. the Lord know everybody that can stay together. That's yeah. right. He knows it. That's right. He letting you know what he wants. Right. right. And he also letting you know what he know ain't gonna happen. That's right. right. Listen. Yet let not the wife depart from her husband. Don't let the wife leave. But uh oh. But on me you see but but he know the human family is wicked. That's right. He know the human family is of the That's devil. Right. Amen. He knows something gonna happen. Now being that God knows something gonna happen. He got to implement a law. Right. So when people fall in another category, a law catch them. That's, That's right. right. And That's, That's right. right. All right. But, but, and if she departs, if you do leave, let her remain unmarried. Hey, 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 viewers. Have you noticed that's different from what your bishop said? Amen. Your bishop said go on and leave and get another one. Right. That ain't what the chief shepherd and bishop of our soul said. But if, if she depart, Jesus said if you depart, let her remain unmarried. It didn't say get another one. No. Remain unmarried. It didn't say trade in your Chevy husband and get a Volkswagen. Remain unmarried. He didn't say that. That's right. That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? But if she depart, let her remain unmarried. No, get a, start a new relationship. Let her remain unmarried. Get a new man. Let her remain unmarried. 
Those of flesh get hot and do on a man. What do God recommend? Or be reconciled Go back to her husband. To your husband. That's right. Go back. That's right. Be reconciled. Go back. That's right. Go back. To your husband. To her husband. That's why the UPC and the PAW don't like us. <laughs> because they are a bunch of, of adulterers and adulteresses. That's right. Amen. All these husbands and wives and you are talking about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Keep the name Jesus out of your mouth and get ready to padlock your church door. Now in the book of Malachi chapter 2. All right, read quick. And verse 16. But it's For the Lord, the God of Israel, saith. Wait a minute. Bible wanted, wanted to be plain. Who is talking about? For the Lord. The Lord, the God of Israel, said. That he hateth putting away. Why your bishop don't hate it? Amen. That's right. Your, your bishop don't hate it because he's ready to trade his stuff in. That's right. Yeah. That's right. He looking at a new Toyota. <laughs> yeah. Amen. He looking at a new Volkswagen. That's right. He looking at a set of Bentleys. Yes, yeah. Amen. Hey, for the Lord, the Lord God of Israel, God of Israel, says. God let you know, I don't want you to make a mistake and get them mixed up with another God. That's he right. wants you to know what people he led. The God of Israel and says <coughs> that he hated putting away. You bear in mind, ask yourself, why did he refer to Israel? Have you thought of that? Why did he refer to Israel? Because Moses let Israel do it. That's right. That's right. Do you see? Why did he refer to Israel? Because the Lord knew that Moses suffered Israel to do it. That's right. And now the Lord through and by the prophets has this written. Right. And he's referring you back to his original law before he made creation. That's right. And for the Lord. The Lord. The God of Israel said of Israel said that he hateth putting away. He hate putting away. Therefore, therefore, take heed to your spirit. What? what? Take heed to your spirit. Will you feel your flesh yearning for another Amen. woman. And your husband is white. Your 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 wife is living. What you better do? Take heed to your spirit. Hey, hey, hey Bishop, 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 Amen. Bishop, Bishop, Amen. Bishop, Bishop, Amen. Bishop. Will you see your flesh? Yeah, and you know your wife is still living. Right. What you better do? Take heed to your spirit. First lady. Right. First lady. Uh, Amen. When you see yourself cutting your eye Amen. at that organ player. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What you better do? Take heed to your spirit. Uh, right. When you find a bitch's wife uh, trying to act like she in the spirit. Uh, just bucking up all up against that blood. <laughs> What's the better do? Say who to the spirit. What's the better do, brothers? What is the spirit? Do what? Do what? Hallelujah, I said. Hallelujah, God said. Get chapter and verse. Now in the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 15. Therefore, give chapter and verse again. Malachi chapter 2, where at verse 15. <laughs> God said. What is that? Therefore, take heed. Pay attention to your spirit. To your spirit. And let none deal treacherously. Wait a minute. To your spirit. To your, your spirit. spirit. Your desire. Your, your, desire. Right. your lust. That's right. right. Your flesh. Yes. Some say that's the one of the Holy Ghost. No, it's not. No, no. That's not your spirit. No, no. That's the spirit of God. That's right. Your, your spirit is right. Your spirit. Right. Your spirit. That's it. You are real. That's right. You are lust. That's right. Your desire. Yeah. Pay attention to it. Take yeah. heed to your Listen, spirit. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Hallelujah. Amen. Watch it. The says, examine yourself. Amen. 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 Take heed. When I examine myself, right. I take heed to your spirit. To my spirit. That's yeah. right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Do you see it? Amen. Hallelujah. Therefore, wonderful, wonderful. All of you viewers Hallelujah. that hear preachers from anywhere in the world Hallelujah. justifying divorce, Hallelujah. they are servants of Satan. That's right. Man, that's right. Amen. They are lust preachers. Amen. They promote lust. Amen. 
Do you hear what the Bible advised? Therefore, take heed to, to your spirit. All right, apostle, you ain't no apostle with two and three and four and five wives. No, no, no. You are possum. No, apostle. Right. You ain't right. no apostle. That's right. You are rotten. You are possum. That's possum. Right. I see. Amen. Amen. Roadkill. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. Do you Amen. hear? Therefore, Amen. take heed to your spirit. Hey, hey, Bishop. Bishop. You take your heed to your spirit? Amen. Hey, Deke. That's right. Are you taking heed to your spirit? Amen. Wonderful. Hey, choir member. Mm -hmm. You know you got a husband, sister. Yeah. Yeah. Are you taking heed to your spirit? Your spirit. Well, Pastor Jim, the reason why I went out because my wife went out on me. There ain't no reason. That's right. You better take heed. Take Amen. heed to your spirit. Well, I went out on her to get back at her. No. The Bible says, Thou hast sinned against none but God. That's right. Wonderful. You sinned against Amen. God. That's right. Do you hear the word of God talking? Therefore, take heed. Take to your spirit, you apostolic fakers, pay attention to your spirit. Pay attention, amen. Anytime you're in a church and you know your bishop is married Hallelujah. and got a second wife, and you sit there, you are church full of whore lovers. That's right, that's right. That's what you Pay attention to your spirit, to your spirit. amen. Now, ask yourself if you got the Holy Ghost, how is it? How is you can sit so comfortable. Amen. 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 And now you call the preacher's second wife, first lady. She's the second lady. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, Amen. Take Amen. the Amen. first lady, she's the second lady. Yes. That's right. That's right. Wonderful. Take heed. Go ahead, Pops. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pay attention. Pay attention. Take heed to your spirit. To your spirit. That's right. Your spirit. Your spirit. Wonderful. Amen. You find these men preaching in the lost, they're lustful devils. That's right. They try to bring a way out. That's right. That's why you keep hearing them pound on it, pound on it. They want to get out that marriage. That's right. They want out. They want to pound on it. They want out. That's right. They're getting tired of prison. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Take God. Hallelujah. Take heed. Take heed yeah. to your spirit. Rather, this old time gospel make you take heed. Oh, yeah. yeah. To your God. spirit. To your God. spirit. Hey! Amen. Take heed, I said. Take heed to your Lord. spirit. Take God to your spirit. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Amen. And let none deal treacherously. Whenever a preacher tell you can divorce, he's dealing treacherously. Against the wife of his youth. Against the wife when of his you youth. When you're going to divorce your wife, and get another woman, you are dealing treacherously, treacherously. against your wife. That's, That's right. right. That's right. That's yeah. right. Who so commits adultery? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What did he say? Now in the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 and verse 32. Forever. Cup, cup, committeth adultery. Cup, 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 commit adultery. But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman. That's right. Can you get it out? I'll get it out. Can you get it out? I'm going get it out. All right, let's get it out. But whosoever committeth adultery with Ain't no woman. rapping going on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like someone scratching a record, you know. <laughs> what is that? But whosoever committeth adultery with a woman. Whoever committeth adultery with a woman. Lacketh understanding. Yeah. Some understanding. So I'm saying, wait a minute, Pastor Janice. How can the Bible say that when that man know what he's doing? Pastor Dennis, how can the Bible say that when that man and woman know what he's doing That's and what right. she's doing? Right. Take your time. Listen at this. But whoso committeth adultery with a woman, like an understanding, uh -huh. he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Now, this is what he lacked understanding about. Right. The importance and the value of his soul. That's right. That's right. And what caused him to be deprived of such understanding is this deep lust. That's he right. He's focused on what he wants That's and right. totally got about his soul. That's, That's, right. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's She's it. focused on what she wants. Amen. 
Amen. She's ignoring her soul. For by means of a foolish woman. By, no, do you hear? Now the book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 26. By means of, of a foolish woman. A man, a is, man brought is brought to a piece of, to bread. A piece of bread. And the adulteress and the adulteress will, hunt will hunt for the precious life. Mm. A person Amen. that wants adultery, they'll hunt you down. That's right. I want that one. Right. I want that one. Yeah. I want that one. That's right. Amen. In other words, you are a predator. Amen. And you got predators right in church. Amen. That's right. Amen. Right in church. Get me? Amen. 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 He'll hunt you down. Hunt you down. Tell you the Lord brought you to me, showed me you my wife. That's right. Lord brought you to me and showed me you my husband. Then go off in some tongue. When you, when you go in the bed with me. Go ahead. You don't understand? Go ahead. Now, here, here, preachers, any preacher that are watching, any deacon that are watching, any brother that are watching, all of you that said that God gave you this woman. Amen. And your first wife is still living, Lord. you have lied Lord. against the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. All oh, you women that said, God gave me this man, and your first husband is still living, you have lied on the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's right. Right. Lord, thank God I want to nail the nail right in the coffin.